First thing I did is I placed a liner in there. It was deep. And anytime I have something deep, I like to place a liner in there because it acts as thermal protection. What I, and there's two products that I like to use. Um, one is Theracal from Bisco. The other one is Calcimol LC from Voco. It's a light cured calcium hydroxide liner. It's meant for an indirect situation, not direct. has a very high pH, and that supports healing. It has an antimicrobial effect. Not a lot of people know about Calcimol LC. It's a great product. We use it all the time. Um, and it's light cured, so it's and, and it's not going to flake off when you place it. So we've placed um, our cal our calcium oil liner. I am going to do this in a selective etch technique. So I'm etching the outside of the enamel. Um, this is Voco Sid. Voco's 37% phosphoric acid. Um, we've placed our mylar strip. But now look at the restoration when it's all said and done. So we etched. Let me go back a slide. We etched, we placed Futura Bon U on the enamel and on the dentin, agitating 20 seconds. Air dried for five, light cured for 10. Futura Bon U in place. Could I have done it without the phosphoric acid? Yes. But I do like to select a etch on enamel whenever I can. Wedge in place, and there's our restoration when it's totally said and done. You can see A2 Admirer Fusion truly blends.